Single loop control methods. This book has been around for close to 20 years. It's kind of, kind of surreal to me. Um, 20 years ago, I started teaching control classes and implementing control solutions. And I found that the methods that we were using just weren't very accurate or precise. And as the control technology grew, some of the sloppy methods that I was using was getting me in trouble. I had one customer that said, unless you tell me how your numbers are going to fit into the system, you can't tune our system. And so I realized that my academic background and my industrial background just collided. I had to figure out how mathematics and college equations fit into tuning a control loop on a valve in an industrial plant. I started to develop these processes, these plans. I started to include them into some of the training classes I was doing. Um, I was doing a lot of PowerPoint work, and then we went from PowerPoint. Um, actually, I was doing a lot of board work, and then I went from board work to PowerPoint. And then my, the students and people I was sharing with said, you should write this stuff down, because this would make a good book. It's hard to believe, looking at this book now and looking at this author, that, that was me 20 years ago. Uh, it's a funny story, just uh, probably a couple years ago I was invited to teach this class um, in Singapore. And I was in the lobby with um, some of the students and I said, so what are you guys here for? They said, well we're here to get this class, Single Loop Control Methods, um, that Kevin Starr is teaching. And I said, oh really? And, uh, and they said, yeah, we've heard he's pretty good. And I said, well, I, I'm, I'm Kevin Starr. And they looked at me and said, no, no, you're not Kevin Starr. I said, well, which I thought was interesting is I'm not who I am. And I said, no, I'm Kevin. And they're like, no, and they pulled out my book and they went to the preface and said, this guy is Kevin Starr. Well, that guy is Kevin Starr 20 years ago. <laughs> Jim Lowry and I are in that picture and we would take some photo shots and they still um, are around. But what's interesting is although time tends to keep going, the theory and the application of control methods has stayed the same. From the uh, Laplace transforms, the 4A transforms, the S domain, the very complex mathematics is as pure as it can get, and it hasn't changed. When I first started on the, uh, you know, the, the 1180 microcomputer, and then to the masterpiece for ABB, then to the AC450, the 800XA, and then I've had the opportunity to work on a variety of control platforms. They change with time, but what doesn't change is single loop control methods. And this class, we used to only be presented in an industrial setting as a training class, and it still is. And we had this book we would send out. But now with the advances in technology, we can make a video suite or a knowledge vault of segments. Um, I've had the opportunity to present this class or segments of this class over the years at trade shows, um, breaking it down into half hour segments. And so what we're going to do here or this process that you're about to go into is the different chapters will be covered. We will have um, the PowerPoints available, the books available, and now you can listen along and hopefully understand the valuable concepts that are presented in this book. Um, I tell people I know two numbers, how to come up with P and how to come up with I, proportional integral. Um, it's kind of like balancing bowling balls, but I figured it out a long time ago and you can make a pretty valuable career for yourself and for your customers when you figure out these simple traits that we're about to cover. Enjoy the ride.